else as tall as me. When's the last time I saw you? You've been growing, hey? Either that, or I could just be really short. But I'll let you in on a little secret that's not really a secret. I'm six feet tall. So I'm somewhere on this standard spectrum of height. And you're almost there. You're on your way, kiddo. No, wait, wait. Okay, check this out. I want to tell you something. This is important. This is really... I like this. This, this is really cool. This is something that you could maybe really get behind. It makes me excited to think about this. So let's lay the foundations, all right? Consider that the universe peoples. As Alan Watts had said, the universe produces people just as an apple tree produces apples. We're not the only thing it produces. I mean, there's life all around us. Everything is moving. Even if it looks like it's holding still, the world never stops. So the universe peoples, and you are one of them. One of us. Okay. I'm going to say something all fancy-like, and then I'm going to break it down for you, okay? Are you ready? You are an ineffably, infinitely intricate iteration of the composing cosmological function of humanity. You are unique. It's that old cliche again, right? Everybody's different. When something is said enough times without really being understood, it becomes trite. But let me break down to you just how empowering that idea actually is. You are and always will be yourself. Like it or not, it can't escape you. Even when you're pretending to be someone else, it's you pretending to be someone else. The only real way to lose yourself permanently is psychosis. And while that's a valid experience, that's not for you. So I'm gonna bypass that one for now. Returning. Your identity is crucial to your existence, but your identity is magical. You are an example of a human being that has never existed in the past and will never exist ever again. This is huge. You're walking the front lines, pioneering the frontier. You're furthering the universe's expansion just by being yourself. Just through existing, you're already doing something that no one else has ever done, or ever could do, for that matter. Even if you believe in parallel universes, multiple timelines, dimensions, and so on. None of them, and I mean none of them, are right where you are. You are unmatched in your inherent novelty. Are you starting to see the gravity of that meaning yet? We all have things inside of us that make us special the things that we use to define ourselves. 
I hope this experience is too great. And I wait and smile at all the guys I have a superhuman beard. <clears throat> We're all just a bunch of crazy individuals, even if you don't want to admit it. But are you sharing yourself with the world? Are you sharing yourself with yourself? In order to best serve yourself and to best serve the world, you'll need to really begin to share your thing. That thing that makes you valuable. That thing that makes you... Wait for it. Ready? Yourself. You are a beautiful person. How do you feel about that statement? Do you agree with it? I'm talking about more than just physical beauty here. You're beautiful because you are different. So, there's your motivation for the next while, your motivation to smile, to think to yourself, you know, everything just might be okay, maybe, for a little bit, mm -hmm. to know that you, creative cosmic child, are paving the way. That even if you're lost and confused, if you are unsatisfied, if you are unhappy, if you're unfulfilled in your life, that no one else can ever match your own beautiful brilliance in design. And you are never too far from change. <laughs>